My dad said that you spend the entirety of your second term at university unmaking all the friends you made in your first term. So I'm not really speaking to anyone yet. I'm here because I want to be a photography journalist in France. So far, I've spent most of my time in the vast offices. Photography is my raison d'être. If you can't capture life in a frame, then what can you really ever do? I spent two years developing my portfolio and pioneering a new branch of photography. It's called La Realisme Existentialiste. Food is my raison d'être. I like to cook for myself. You can't trust those big supermarkets. What the Chevalier d'Industrie of Sainsbury's tells you is fair trade. It's actually funding people trafficking and child prostitution. I know a girl from Ghana. You! Do you shop at Sainsbury's? Do you realise? I always campaign on my own. I don't like the herd mentality. Those students who campaign against Guantanamo by sitting in orange boiler suits don't even know who Guantanamo is. I found her wrapped up in bin bags, thrown out of the rubbish up in Lancashire. You know? The students here are so selfish. They have no idea about poverty or its socio-economic ramifications for society as a whole. I try to converse with the big issue guys. Sometimes I do soup kitchens. They're all really good guys. And they have excellent taste in music. Nathan likes electro swing. I love everything at Propo Rainbow Cafe. Totally veg and everything is organically and ethically sourced. What's your favourite dish? My favourite dish? They do a great veg lasagna without tomatoes or cheese. Or pasta. I don't like libraries. Churches are my libraries. I write most of my poetry in churches. And haiku. Totally versatile and avant-garde at the minute. C'est la mode. I really believe in the insights of star signs. I've been an astrologer for as long as I can remember. I'm Capricorn. And the classic traits of a Capricorn are prudent and patient, ambitious, determined, and deserved. Capricorns are also pessimistic and fatalistic. Comme il faut. It's not superstition. It's an art. I don't like the student fashion pages. The clothes are so cliche. I mean, what does geek chic even mean anyway? Fashion is only fashionable if it's spontaneous. Like a beautiful sunset or a sheep leaping over a stile. I distinguish between what the students here call fashion, which is basically sweatshop clothes from H&M, and couture. Couture is the heart and soul of Paris. In other words, c'est la vie. Bed has got a really bad press here. I always help out when I can. They're paid like less than minimum wage to clean up vomit and urine. And to what end? Boys are so disgusting. Emma has 
some nice people. But I don't want to compile my meta-narrative within the first few weeks. I want it to grow organically, like a coffee bean. Boys? Not sure. Come see, come sir. I'm not really in that place right now. Maybe a girl, if she was self-aware enough. Most of the girls here aren't though. I read The Guardian. Lesbian. That's just a word. Means nothing to me. Neither does gay or straight. Love is a malleable and changeable form. As I always say, l'amour avait passé par là. You don't even need to understand it to know what it means. I've set up my own independent gallery. Everything here, the societies, the nightclubs, the bars, all so corporate. I've heard the union is owned by Deloitte. My gallery is a chance for students to display their photographs in an unthreatening environment. Photographs need the right mental environment as well as the right physical environment to thrive. Hopefully, the best will be displayed in the Guardian's laissez-faire urban renaissance section. It's really gritty. Depression is a really serious issue at Cambridge. For some people, like Pascal and Anne-Marie, they're just naturally and biologically that way. But for others, like me, it has more to do with le temperament artistique. That brings on my depression. I have days where my camera just feels like a lump of life-draining concrete. And what am I supposed to do when I cease to function as an artist? I cease to function as a human being. Life is often hard here. But there is light at the end of that tunnel. In times like this, one must always turn to Foucault. My philosophy here is vaut mieux prévenir que guérir. It means it is better to prevent than to heal. The more we realise this, the stronger we will be. Mm -hmm.